Optimizing your images is one of the key things that could be holding you back on SEO, but it's really easy to fix. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the best practices for optimizing your images on Squarespace for SEO. And trust me, this can be something that is seriously holding you back and could even be damaging your rankings, which could be leading to one of your competitors ranking above you on search engines. But first, why is optimizing images even important? Well, first of all, optimizing images is really important for user experience. If your images are too big, then your website will be loading slow and this will really annoy users. Just think about it, when have you been on a website before and it's loaded slowly and you just wanted to leave? This could be your users too if you don't make sure you optimize your images for SEO, which ultimately also benefits user experience. Secondly, and tying onto that, it's also beneficial for SEO. If you've got images that are too big, this will lead to your website being slow, which also means that Google will be less likely to rank you. Remember, Google wants to put the best search results at the top of its search engine. If your website loads really slow and the images are too big, then Google's unlikely to rank you higher, which means you need to make sure you optimize them following best practices to boost your chance of ranking higher on search engines. Additionally, one thing to bear in mind, even though Squarespace is a fantastic platform, as I covered in my WordPress v Squarespace SEO video, Squarespace does load slower. So because most Squarespace websites have a low page speed score, if your images are also bulky, you're further shooting yourself in the foot and you're gonna be held back even more. Now this being said, Page loading speed is only one of several hundred ranking factors that Google looks at, but because image size is something you can control, it's something that you should look to focus on and follow best practices. And make sure you stay to the end of the video as I'm also gonna take you through best practices for alt tags. Don't worry if you don't know what alt tags are because I'll explain this and tell you what best practices are in order to get on page one of Google. Now to begin with, I'm gonna take you through two methods in order to find out whether your images need to be compressed on your website. It's worth bearing in mind that for normal images on a website, there should be maximum 250 kilobytes. However, banner images, i.e. big images at the top of your web page, these can be 500 kilobytes. But in general, you want to make sure all the images on your website are 250 kilobytes or below. And because you can't add image files such as SVG, you've just got to make sure that you compress your JPEGs and PNGs as much as possible so that they're below this threshold. Now, I'm going to take you through the two ways in order to identify images on your web page which need to be compressed. I'm going to use my Squarespace SEO plugin page as an example as we're currently doing some work on it before we rebrand to SEO Space in Q1 2023. And what I've done, I've added an image that is too big, i.e. greater than 250 kilobytes on our explanation page. Now, the two ways that you can identify the images that need to be compressed are either through Page Speed Insights. This is a tool developed by Google in order to give your website a page speed score. And all you need to do is take the URL, copy it into the Analyze box, and then press Enter. It can take some time to load, and you will identify what I said earlier in the video that Squarespace websites do tend to lower than usual. And when you scroll down to opportunities, you'll potentially see the images that need to be compressed here. All you need to do is click on them and go to imagecompressor.com, upload them, re-download them, and then add them back to your website. I'm not gonna show you how to do that in this one. I'm gonna show you how to do that in the second method which is by using the Squarespace SEO plugin we've developed itself. We've added in here a 22-step checklist in order to analyze pages on your website to make sure that they follow best practices. We've created this to be the jargon-free, easy-to-use plugin in order to get your website on page one of Google, and it's designed specifically for Squarespace. One of the checks that we have on here is images, and in fact, the plugin itself will tell you if any images need to be compressed, as well as if your images are missing alt tags, as we're gonna cover in the end of the video. All you need to do is click on the image that's too big, and our plugin will identify it here for you, and you can see it's highlighted in red, as well as showing it on the plugin interface, and all you're going to do is save that image, go to imagecompressor.com, compress as needed so you can see you can adjust the quality 
accordingly. Now you've got to remember, as we touched on at the start of the video, user experience is vitally important for SEO. So while you want to make sure your images are compressed, if you reduce the quality too much, this will lead to grainy images, which are going to put off users and potentially damage your rankings on Google. So make sure you find that balance where the images are below 250 kilobytes, but are also high enough quality that your users are going to get the best experience possible. So here I'm going to reduce it a little bit more by 60%. As you can see, it hasn't really damaged the quality. Press apply and then download this image. What I can do then is go to the Squarespace editor and find the image that I've just uploaded. I can then go replace, upload file. And one thing that's really important, you want to make sure that you also name the image appropriately. So for example, let's say that this was an image of me developing our Squarespace SEO plugin. I would go through here and I would put Squarespace SEO plugin in development, enter and press enter, re-upload. That is important because not only do you want to use the word that you want to rank for in the name of the image where, where appropriate, but you also want to take that name with your primary keyword and pull it in the alt text as we're going to cover later in the video. As you can see, we've gone through the process of uploading that image as a compressed file under 250 kilobytes. What we can then do is reload the page and complete the test again. And once the plugin is fully loaded in, we can scroll down to images again, and we can see that the image has disappeared. So it's no longer above 250 kilobytes, so it's following SEO best practices. So just to reiterate, you want to go through and test all the pages on your website to see if your images are above 250 kilobytes. If they are, you go on, you save, and then you upload to imagecompressor.com. You then make sure that you compress it to lower than 250 kilobytes, and then you re-upload it to the website, making sure that your image name and alt tag is descriptive. Now, moving on to the second image optimization point for Squarespace SEO, alt tags. Alt tags are alternative text, and they're description that you give to an image that describes what the image is showing. Because Google image searches count for 22.6% of all searches, you need to make sure that you have this alt text to describe what your image is talking about to make it easier for Google to index your image on search engines. If you don't have the alt text, it makes it harder for Google to know what your image is about. It's also important for accessibility reasons, as if anyone is blind and going through the internet, the alt tag can provide a description of what's going on with the image, which is obviously important for SEO, so it ticks both boxes. You need to make sure that every single image on your website has an alt tag. And again, there's multiple ways to do this. The first way to do this is to use a tool called Screaming Frog. This is a free tool that allows you to analyze websites with up to 500 pages, and it will go through all the images on your website, and it will tell you if they're over 100 kilobytes, and if they're missing alt text, which is really, really powerful. And that's the first method. And the second method you can use, as I showed you with the images, you can also use the Squarespace SEO plugin, which will tell you whether any of your images are missing alt tags, which is really, really powerful because you can also click on the plugin and it will highlight the image that is missing the alt tag. All you need to do is go to that image on the page, double click it, go to alt tag and add a descriptive text to that image that describes what the image is showing, which in this case would be Squarespace SEO plugin screenshot. And once we've done that, we can then return back to the page where we've just added the alt tag to the image, refresh, and then the Squarespace SEO plugin will retest the page following our 22 step checklist to check whether any images need to have an alt tag added. And remember, this will also test to see if any images need to be compressed. So it's got your back. And as I've already mentioned, you can have the free version that will test the alt tags and images. All we need to do is scroll down to images. As we can see here, all images are optimized. So this image is not only compressed, but it also has an alt tag. So there you are, guys. That is how to optimize your images on Squarespace to follow SEO best practices. Make sure you apply these steps to not only your new web pages, but also your existing pages. And if you've got any questions, please feel free to comment as well as subscribing to the channel. 
not only going to be sharing lots of Squarespace SEO tips, but I'm also going to be sharing some amazing results that our users are getting from our Squarespace SEO plugin, which you can access through seospace.co.uk. Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video.